Hi, Tom Lydon here in Hollywood, Florida at the Inside ETF Conference here with Dan Noonan, Executive Vice President, Head of ETF Sales for Global Wealth Management at PIMCO. That's a long title, Dan. <laughs> it is. It's a lot, it's a lot there. <laughs> but it means a lot, and there's a lot going on in the ETF space for sure, and PIMCO's been right on the forefront of it. But today, we've got some exciting things to talk about. You've had a couple new launches in the ESG space, one on fixed income, one on the equity side. Let's talk about the fixed income first. Yeah, no, thanks, Tom, and thanks for having us uh, here today. You know, 10 years ago, uh, PIMCO really pioneered the active ETF space with the launch of Mint, which is an ultra short uh, kind of cash enhanced product. And today, it's the largest actively managed fixed income ETF on the market. And as we look to the next 10 years of, uh, of evolution and uh, innovation, we see ESG becoming a bigger and bigger part of investors' uh, concerns and something that they're going to be looking at very closely. So we launched an ESG version of Mint. The ticker symbol is E-M-N-T. E-M-N-T. Right. Okay. E-Mint. Yeah, uh, great. What we call it internally. Yeah. And um, it's run by the same team that runs Mint currently, uh, Jerome Schneider uh, and Nate Chivani. And uh, we're really excited about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what would it cut out compared to Mint? Like, it's not as though a lot of the corporates in there uh, wouldn't hold up, but to a great degree, there's added, that added screen is really helpful for a lot of advisors, right? That's right, yeah, and I think if you th ESG has gotten a lot of focus lately within the investment industry, uh, but if you look at PIMCO, PIMCO's been involved in ESG since the 90s. We've offered ESG-oriented funds since the 90s, and one unique thing is that we independently rate every credit that we look at with an ESG score, regardless of whether it's an ESG strategy or not. So a product like eMint is tapping into that same active ESG uh, process that we use across our entire book of business and allowing it to be uh, a focused version of that uh, in the ETF format with eMint. So moving over to the equity side, long-term partner of PIMCO, Rob Arnott, and uh, research affiliates have done a lot with you folks, but now a ESG version of his RAFI index, correct? That's correct, yeah. So PIMCO has had a long-standing uh, successful relationship with research affiliates right across the street from us yeah. in Newport Beach, over $40 billion uh, in sub-advised assets with research affiliates. Uh, we have currently three equity products that we partnered with research affiliates on. And as you mentioned, we've recently launched an ESG version of the original Rob Arnott Research Affiliate Smart Beta, a lot there, uh, yeah. equity uh, index. Uh, so it's taking the same research affiliate index that everyone's known and been comfortable with. There's almost $37 billion in assets currently indexed against that mandate and put an ESG screen that research affiliates has developed on their own uh, for that ETF. So two things I think look really attractive there. Number one, if you're feeling markets a little bit long in the tooth, Having a fundamental index really helps in a big way. That's right. At the same time, if you're looking to make a commitment on the ESG side, here's a way where you can wrap both benefits into one. That's exactly right, yeah. And the way we look at it is, if you think about it, these are two large allocations for most investors. U.S. equities on one hand and cash and short-term bonds on the other. So these are both asset classes we feel that investors can start thinking about how they can get ESG exposure to through PIMCO and through an ETF vehicle. Great, Dan. As always, great seeing you. Yeah, thanks so much, Thank Tom. you. Yeah, thank you.